a quick observatory update. So far this thing is working very, very nice. It's actually almost one year old. Everything's still working. I just need to stain this uh, wood here, this spring. The uh, Wise outdoor pan tilt camera is working excellent as a sky camera. I just need to see the sky conditions for clouds and the solar fans are still kicking. And this thing's held up very well with the winter. Uh, we've had several snowstorms, ice storm, uh, lots of winds, and it's still going strong. I have not been inside this observatory in like 30 days. I've been using it off and on, but I have not been inside of it. Because I have Arduino set up now and everything's automated. So after I have this scope uh, right now, it's my 80 millimeter refractor with the ASI 1600 monochrome camera and filters. I've been doing monochrome right now with some uh, Nebula. And once you pull a line the scope and get it set up, I don't come back out here. Um, the Duino box is right there. Actually, let me open the door and show you. Okay, now I'm inside here. So here's my Arduino box controller that I set up. I put it inside one of these weatherproof boxes and everything's labeled, all the cables are labeled. Once this is connected, um, Everything's automated as far as the roof control and everything. All my stuff I keep on off. Smart switches now. So I can turn the computer on remotely just by switching on the power, uh, telescope power. This uh, power strip right here, just all remote control now with the Wi-Fi switches. Even um, my lights in here I have on a Wi-Fi switch, the dehumidifier, I have that on the Wi-Fi switch. And all the Wi-Fi switches that I use are made by Casa. They're very reliable. I never have any issues. So the computer's here, it's a B-Link, one of those mini PCs, it's just mounted and covered. And Wi-Fi extender, and that's it, the monitor, just, I keep it covered. It's just an old TV, just mounted on the wall, and that's it. And once you have everything set up on here, you just, you pick your target, um, you see what time is gonna be available, and I set up uh, Nina, and set the start time, and that's it. I don't even come out here, the scope, at that preset time will, well, the um, Arduino that's preset time will automatically open the roof. The roof is open. After that, the scope will unpark. Uh, then it would cool off the camera. After the camera cools down to the set temperature, and then it will slew and find the target and pick the star, uh, plate solve, or we'll starts guiding, plate solve, and auto focus, and starts running. When it's finished, the scope will automatically park. Then I have a, a one minute timer delay. After it parks, I have set it for one minute. And then the roof closes, and I get alert to just close, and that's it. Until the next time. Well, everything's been working out very well in here. Um, that's how I have the gate open and mounted. Everything's just uh, regular two by fours and stuff like that. And that motor speed controller does wonders for making this roof start, for making this motor have a softer start compared to the built-in soft start it has. This trims off about maybe seven, eight volts total and it makes it even softer when it starts that is perfect i even have that on a smart switch also so that if it's a long period of time i'm not going to be using it i just shut off all the power to it um that's it and when i'm ready to use it i turn it back on but that's basically it um for arduino uh, i had to do some extra contact switches uh, you can't see them under here that's my ring sensor it lets me know when the roof is open when it's closed through the um ring app um uh, who's on my magnets uh, they're on the other side Got to go outside to show you that. Okay, up under here, here's a magnet for let's Adreno know when it's open. I just use a piece of siding uh, board trim that I had left over when I built the observatory. Just mount a uh, contact sensor here, the magnet and the sensor here. And that's when it's open. And when it closes, it has one on this side. That magnet comes over the same switch right here and it sends a command. Hey, I, oh, here it is right here. It sends it over this one. And that tells it it's closed. Everything's labeled, so labeled on the front too. We see the wires that come down. That goes to the Adreno board. So there's one for uh, closed and one for open. And you can see the ring contact sensor is here for it. That's how I get alert for it with, with the ring at when it closes. And this is the under the roof part. I know I've shown this earlier in my other videos, but uh, you can see a little bit better now, like how I have the two by four mounted and everything. Here's the contact sensor for the gate opener for closed and open. That's right here. That's the gate motor. No, it's open. 
And it's very simple. I mean, it's a very simple design, but just an update on it. Here's the power box I have for the camera out here. This just houses the uh, power supply for the camera inside of here. It's water resistant kind of deal. So you just mount everything in here and close it up. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I really have to come out here. Now, of course, oh, here's my brush seals. I don't know if I showed that when I built everything, but brush seals all around. But um, galaxy season is starting. And once galaxy season starts, I'll swap this uh, Explorer Scientific, the 80 millimeter. I'll swap this out and bring the 8SC out here. Once I get it out and balanced, I pull the line. Once I pull the line, I probably won't come back out here. I just set everything for automated. But that's basically a observatory update. And here's a shot of it closing up.